Superstitions are commonly found in all cultures. However, the beliefs themselves seem to differ greatly. The Japanese believe in a multitude of superstitions that deal with things ranging from fear of death to a wish for good weather. Some of the most common superstitions deal, generally, with good and bad luck. In fact, a lot of Japanese believe in Rokyo, which is a lunar calendar dictating which days of the year are lucky or unlucky. Taiyan, or the Day of Great Peace, is considered the luckiest day, and a lot of Japanese will schedule their marriages, births, and even relief states from hospitals to fall on the Taiyan. Recently, in fact, a study of Japanese hospitals showed that the average discharge rate of patients is the highest on a Taiyan day and lowest on a Butsumetsu, or the unluckiest day. For New Year's, the day when luck seems to be most important, even the first dream of the year, the Hatsuyume, is said to predict whether the dreamer is in for a lucky year or a crummy one. Some items, if dreamt about, are considered to bring the person good luck. They are, in order, Mount Fuji, eagles, eggplants, fans used in dancing festivals, tobacco, and zato, or blind Buddhist priest. All of these are understandable, except for eggplants? Well, interestingly enough, these, super these superstitions stem from the Edo period, when the shogunate's Iyasu's family came from Sudaga, present-day Shizuoka Prefecture, which was a major producer of eggplants. Today, some people will sleep with pictures of lucky items, like a lucky treasure ship or takabune, underneath their pillows in order to induce these lucky dreams. Some other quite random superstitions dealing with luck are not breaking a comb or a gaita sandal strap, which is similar to the American don't break a mirror superstition. You should never say kairu, the word for return, at a wedding, because if you do, it is believed that the wife will return turn to her father's home and leave her husband. Making a teidu teidu bozu, or a ghost-like doll, and hanging outside will bring good weather the next day. Eating fried eel and melon in the same meal is considered to bring the person bad luck all day and can even lead to death. Eating umeboshi, or Japanese pickled plum, every day for breakfast will bring you good luck by helping you avoid accidents. And lastly, if you step in animal excrement, or if a bird poops on you, this is said to be lucky since the word for luck, un, is pronounced the same as excrement. A lot of other Japanese superstitions deal with the idea of preventing or avoiding death. Most of these kinds of superstitions stem from the traditional Buddhist funeral ceremony. The night before the funeral, the body is laid out, pointing north, and for this reason, Japanese refuse to sleep facing north. This is known as kita makuda. Other funeral-related superstitions are that you should never stick your chopsticks into your rice and you should never pass food chopstick to chopsticks, since both are practiced in funeral rituals. More widely practiced superstitions are unlucky numbers such as 4, 9, and 43. 4 is considered unlucky because the pronunciation of 4, she, is the same for the word death. The number 4 is equivalent to the number 13 in America. However, the Japanese escalate this belief to the extent of skipping the fourth room in hotels and hospitals. 9 is an unlucky number because its pronunciation ku is similar to the Japanese word for suffering. 43, likewise, will never be used for the maternity ward room because its pronunciation shizan is similar to the Japanese word for stillborn. All superstitions stem from cultural beliefs and customs, so it's understandable that the Japanese have a whole set unique to their country. No matter how weird they are, it's always fun to study them.